Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be part one of my, it's only two parts, but my two part series of me buying my dream fall wardrobe. I've been seeing so many of these videos, whether it's Pinterest wardrobe makeover, buying my dream wardrobe. So I really wanted to hop on the trend. But more importantly, I literally have no clothes for like the fall spring seasons. Basically I have no clothes for that. So today I decided that I wanted to pick up quite a few pieces for fall and basically just revamp my wardrobe. So for part one, I'm basically gonna show you guys some inspiration pictures, show you guys kind of what I'm going for, give you guys a few things on my shopping list. Cause as I was going through what I already have, I realized I didn't have staples like cargo pants, you know, just stuff like that. So I made a little list of things that I absolutely wanted to get. And then we're gonna do all the online shopping today. Well, most of it, because I did place a small order from Misguided and I do wanna show that as well. So part two is gonna be the whole try on haul. I'm gonna show you guys everything what it looks like prices and all that fun stuff but today we're strictly gonna do the shopping and I decided that I wanted to buy my stuff from pretty little thing I've never shopped with them before a few of my friends shop there and they absolutely love everything they got so I decided to finally try them out so that's where we're gonna be online shopping today so let's get right on into it so first starting with my inspiration so obviously with fall I feel like the number one trend is like neutral colors so I definitely want to get some neutral colored clothes like cream stone chocolate brown literally love that color and I feel like it looks good on every skin tone. So my goal is to get a lot of neutral colored pieces. So now onto my list. So the first thing I have is boyfriend jeans. I don't own a pair of boyfriend jeans, but I really need one because they're so easy to style. Another thing I wanna get is leather pants, which actually are already checked off my list in my misguided haul. So those are coming and I'm so excited. Next on my list is sweatpants. Again, gray or neutral colored. I only have like a couple pairs of sweatpants and they're all black. So I definitely want more colors because sweatpants with like a crop top and like an oversized button down, so cute. So I definitely wanna get a few pairs of sweatpants. Another thing I need is a flannel. I literally don't own one and I feel like that's just a staple in everybody's closet especially when it comes to fall clothing and then next I want a corset I don't own any corset tops and again I actually got one from misguided but I had my eye on one from pretty little thing hopefully they still have it but another thing I've been seeing is like corsets with sweatpants or baggy pants like that is such a look but that is everything I have in mind hopefully you guys could kind of see especially with the pictures what I'm going for now so now we could finally start shopping okay so I finally found out how to screen record because I completely forgot so now let's get started so I think I'm gonna start off just by looking at the new in. I know Pretty Little Thing gets like new things every day. So they definitely have a lot of cute stuff. And already like all this stuff is like the vibe I'm going for, like very neutral tones. And another random thing, I am so not used to shopping with like numbers, like I just do small, medium, large. So we're gonna guess on all my sizes. My stuff from Misguided is actually coming later. So I think I'm gonna try all that stuff on first and then officially decide what sizes I should get. Here's my plan because everything is literally so cute and I want everything. Let me start by shopping for the things that I actually have on my list and then we'll go from there. So I think the first and probably most important is boyfriend jeans. So I wanna see what they have. I love medium wash. I'm not super into the dark wash, especially for baggy jeans. Ooh, I really like these, hold on. These are like perfect. Wow, I really like these. One thing down. Wow, this is actually going a lot smoother than I thought. Okay, next thing, I completely forgot what was on my list already, is leather pants, I already got that, sweatpants. So I think I wanna go for a neutral like stone color. So I guess we'll switch up stone sweatpants. Oh, I spelled stone wrong. <laughs> Okay, this is great. I mean, it came up. We're just gonna look. Okay, so I don't like when sweatpants, I'm trying to find an example. Like I like when they scrunch at the bottom like here. I don't like when it's like boxy. Like here, oh, this is a good example. Like I just like when it scrunches and it's over. So I definitely wanna already eliminate those. I really like these. Okay. I think we're gonna go with these only because having the seam detail makes it a little different and I like them. So we're gonna get these. <laughs> Next on the list is, I'm gonna search up a flannel first, plaid flannel. Ooh, 
this is the one i love this one i really like how pretty little thing has videos for you guys to see but i don't like how they don't have reviews because i base 90 percent of the things i buy online on reviews that's kind of annoying because all i could go off of is the model and all they give me is her height like that's not really gonna help me so i'm gonna go ahead and look for a few more oversized button downs and then get back to you when we go on to the next thing So quite a few minutes later, I found two that I really liked. So I added those to my cart and you could wait till part two to see what they are, but they're very, very cute. But now I think I'm gonna look for a pair of cargo pants. Again, something I don't have, but I feel like is such a staple in everybody's closet. So I just want plain black. I think I do want the ones that scrunch at the bottom versus just fall. I think, I actually don't know. Let's see what they have. So already, I actually really like these these are really nice you know what we're gonna add them to cart that was so easy it was literally the first like top three things these are nice too see now it's do i want the wide leg or the scrunch i'm gonna add it to my cart and then i'll decide later so next i think i'm gonna look for a corset and i already have one in mind i actually saw the same style of corset on marina she's another youtuber i think her instagram is asap marina she has such cute style but she wore again the same style but in black and it looked so good on her and i think she bought it from a small boutique or somewhere because i couldn't find it anywhere online and a bunch of the comments were like where'd you get the top and nobody knew here it is i do want to get it in the nude color only because the black you see how you could kind of tell it's nude underlay like i wish it was just solid black like how marina's looked so because of that i am gonna go with the nude the last thing on my list is chocolate brown i think i'm just gonna put my size in that's another thing when you find something so cute and they don't have your size okay i love this this is a perfect transitional piece because biker shorts you know you're still wearing shorts but then the top is long sleeve and then the color i'm telling you chocolate brown is such a beautiful color and then the shorts gotta get the whole set so i am so excited about this one so now that i got everything on my list i think i'm just gonna do a little bit more browsing off camera so that way this video isn't so long so i'm gonna finish up and then i will talk to you guys once i am done so that was all for today's video i really hope you guys liked it it was super fun for me to film so hopefully it was fun for you guys to watch and hopefully it gave you some inspiration if you want to go out and buy some new fall pieces so definitely make sure to subscribe Subscribe down below so you guys don't miss out on that part two where I show you guys all the pieces and of course it's going to be try on because I feel like they're super helpful and especially since with Pretty Little Thing you can't see the reviews I could at least show you guys what the pieces look like in person and on. So thank you guys so much for watching and with that being said don't forget that every comment like and view helps me get one step closer to the goals I have for this channel and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys!